All right. Hey, everyone. Ajax here. I have got um, a new series that I'm going to start uh, trying to put out here. We're playing a game called Sybil. So Sybil is a um, indie game. A uh, little on the loud side. i got to turn that down. We played this a little bit last week, uh, but the recording I had for it didn't work very well. And um, the dev team actually went back and uh, uh, identified and fixed just about every bug that we reported while we were playing. So that was, that's pretty nice to turn around. So we're playing the new version here. Got some new content. So we're going to start from the beginning. Kind of walk you through the basics of it a little bit here. See how far we can get. And um, if, uh, if people like it enough, uh, I'll keep doing it. And we will uh, kind of turn this into a little series. See how far we can get. Uh, as far as the game itself, we've been uh, talking about it. Trying to figure out, you know, how do you classify this game? I think at the most general level, I would call it kind of a... Uh, retro 3d platformer it's got more elements to it than that there's fighting and there's an inventory system and things like that but i really feel i feel the same way i did when i felt played super mario brothers where the main point of this game is kind of identifying the proper strategy to accomplish a goal and then actually having the mechanical ability to execute the goal and getting you know execute the plan and getting used to it so we're gonna get going um, i will put a link in the description uh, to check out the game at the website um, otherwise, if you're watching on Twitch, you will have, um, we'll have, uh, Michael, who is the producer for the game, is actually with us. Um, last time we, pl uh, we played, he actually was in chat. I don't know if he will be this time or not, but he will be in Twitch chat. So as we run into things or we have any questions, I'll try and, uh, get some answers and repeat them on here for the people watching on YouTube. So without further ado, we're gonna get going. Alright, so... One thing I noticed off the bat, this still needs to be a little updated, is this menu here is white. And it's showing the desert theme, so you can barely see some of the times. But N for new game, which we want. Because we're going to start from the beginning instead of where I was at before. And we're going to jump and continue. So, tab here is our um, inventory. And I'm using the kind of over-the-shoulder view. There's two views. There's also the overhead one, uh, which I've heard a lot of people say they prefer. I I do not so far. <laughs> so we're going to continue with that. And uh, all right, let's go. So one thing you want to look out for that I kind of missed the first time I was playing, because even though they look kind of obvious at the moment, I, I missed them a lot, Is are these little waypoints. Uh, being sort of a puzzler platformer style game, if you fall and die, you have to go back to your last checkout or checkpoint. So if you miss one of these, you can kind of have a long run. Uh, so you want to make sure you don't do that. Uh, you're oh sweet awesome. Oh oh that's right I don't have the upgraded sword. All right. So we got a golden apple, which increases our max health. So basically, this game is, uh, ha you can play it with a controller, or you can play it uh, entirely on the keyboard. You don't have to use the mouse. Uh, I like using the mouse, which is part of why I'm using the shoulder view, but it's entirely up to you. Cool. Oh, this is a little different. Stuck in a puzzle, try, wait, what? Try hitting a block to reset its position. Oh, oh, these are different uh, tips. Like they don't, they're not always the same tip, I guess. So the lag is a little bit better here, but still. So, yeah, we, we actually did update that. Um, yeah. Dude, oh yeah, this is, oh, yeah, this is way, way better. We did actually Shit. have to walk away before to reset the block and now you can just whack it. Oh, cool. Nice. So, among the things that have been updated are, as uh, Michael was just saying, um, if you get blocks in a weird position, you can kind of whack them to reset them. Uh, they updated the shadow darkness and uh, a little bit of the camera angle, so it's a little easier to tell where your character is vertically when you're jumping, because that was kind of a painful thing the first time. And those are frogs, which I don't remember being here before that's that's cool so yeah so basically this is a really cool example of kind of what you can get going 
relatively quickly if you know what you're doing. So correct me if I'm wrong, I think you said that this is basically two months of work and you have a single a single programmer, right? Yep. Yeah, so it's pretty, it's pretty awesome um, to think about just how far they've made it and it might explain some of the rough edges around it. But um, it's really cool. We played it. Uh, was it a, was it last week on Monday? I think it was last week on Monday. Yeah, and yeah. they've had three updates uh, that I that I think I've seen since then, and they fixed quite a few bugs. So I'm really excited to see how much. It's already way smoother, dude. Like, does not feel painful to look in certain directions anymore. Yeah, there there have been a. Few performance updates. They've definitely been working on that. Um, part of it was actually updating Unity. <laughs> Makes sense. So yeah. So if anyone's interested, um, this is built in Unity, and um, there have been a lot of requests for me to continue the uh, Let's Make a Game series. So I'm actually thinking about um, trying something different than we did last time, and actually. Uh, Instead of do it using something I've used before, use something I haven't used before to kind of give you a good idea from my perspective. Shoot. From my perspective, kind of how hard it is to get into it. So if people are interested, and please uh, comment below or uh, in Twitch chat, uh, I might do a, a new episode of Let's Make a Game and try and basically pick up Unity, and maybe each episode will pick up a different technology that I haven't used before, and we can kind of get an idea of, you know, what's easy, what's difficult, what's moderately difficult because um, this is really cool i feel like this is a really good thing for people to look at if you're a, an aspiring game developer you kind of want to get your stuff out there is you know seeing what people have been able to do so quickly on you know shoestring budget of a couple couple people involved one developer a producer ooh. a musician right you have all you have your own music right right yeah all, all the programming, all the 3D, uh, all the music is same person. So, yeah. Wow. All right. So this part is one that I, uh, I don't think I as much I had as much difficulty with this part as I was expecting, but it's kind of uh, iffy in places. Am I supposed to Am be supposed able to, to jump here? You you were going you were going the right way actually before you need to go on the Yeah, I remember last time we were playing, I went up the elevator first and you said, "Oh, it'd be better to raise the bridge first." And then I was like doing all this work to jump over the the stones over there. And I just jumped up yeah. here. I I think that there might be something that we need to put back in place cuz the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a little bit on the easy not side. Be able to jump up though, so that that actually might be a little glitch. Okay, so we'll 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 go back here and do it the right way. I mean, we got the waypoint, so <laughs> a very unforgiving game. I'll tell you that. But you know, the best platformers usually are. Okay. All right. Oop. But yeah, I'll note that and make sure that it gets fixed. <laughs> cool. So right here, there's a little bit of a trick, which is you want to make sure you keep pushing, because if you kind of just push it right to the edge and let it fall down, uh, you'll be you'll be a little disappointed because it's going to fall in a place where you can't actually push it anymore, and then you gotta. I guess whack it to reset it, which I guess is not so bad as uh, it was when I played it the first time. But, oh, yeah. but you do you do need to raise the bridge, so yeah, yeah. It doesn't really stop your progression; it just means you don't really have to do the jumps. Boy. So yeah, it looks like my router and my modem just needed a good old-fashioned restart because uh, yeah. now I'm now everything's good. Yeah, I feel like the uh, the steps over there are kind of redundant because you can actually just move the uh, block over too and just. 
do it that way. Uh oh. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh shoot. That's that's never mind. We're all good because you got to raise the bridge, and then you can't get back over. So you do have to do this. I hope these frogs don't knock me off. I jumped. I didn't jump. So there's not really an experience system at the moment, so there's not really any point to actually trying to kill these frogs unless I were like low on health or mana and I want to uh, try and get them to drop orbs, right? Yeah, they're basically just drops. Um, we, we, we will have something to do with the coins <gasps> eventually, so... Still working on a few things. Of course, of, of course. course. <laughs> All right, let's uh, not screw this up this time. Haha, <laughs> eBay. Sometimes the physics can be a little glitchy, so you gotta be careful with that, but, you know. That's just something you gotta deal with. A small dev story on this puzzle. We originally had a different puzzle in this place, but the physics were really uh, giving us trouble, so we just decided to replace the puzzle because we kept working on it and kept working on it and it just wasn't working. <laughs> I, I, I can I, I, see that. <laughs> basically, we were trying to do a puzzle where you had to put the block on a moving puzzle, but when you put the block on the moving platform, um, it would jump into the air. <laughs> so because of physics issues. So ah, it was ah. just kind of amusing. But we... Wait, what? Wait, what? Do I have to kill all these guys to I get out? Uh, pretty sure you do, yes. Um, but you have the iron sword, so you can uh, spin attack them. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah, I don't know why. Well, actually, I should try it. I don't know if you fixed that at all, but that was not as uh, enjoyable of an experience using the spin attack as I was hoping it would be. I think one of the updates was basically making the sword a little bit bigger, so there was more of a hitbox for that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, for anyone watching, like I said, um, I did play this a little bit last week for probably an hour and a half, two hours. So I kind of have an idea of how the puzzles go. Um, just going to get past the first area here, probably, on the first boss. But, um, yeah, you can expect it to be a lot harder than I'm making it looking, <laughs> making it look, probably. And I'm not making it look easy because I was screwing up so much that last space anyway. Oh, there's the one thing where basically, like, um, wherever you're pointing, it tries really hard to put you in that direction. So if you're flush up against a uh, one of these things that you're moving, I find myself just slipping off and running the other direction so frequently. Yeah, I've noticed that too. We know about it. It's taking a little time to tweak. Right, you probably have to figure out the best way. Yeah, I noticed that it doesn't do it as much when you're in the mode where you don't have mouse work. Yeah, I can see that, because you're, you're not going to get the same angles. Yeah, plus you're not, out, you're not adjusting it all the time. Right. So, you're, you're probably really, really doing it to yourself without knowing it. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I, I, I know I am. <laughs> it is definitely me just doing tweaks. I have my mouse set up for um, Overwatch in Minecraft, so it's a little more sensitive than I think this game wants. 
Okay. So these are, you know, health and mana, which I don't need right now. Oh. A little bit better, but... A key! Yeah, the game is way just... It's incredible to see how a week of optimization can help so much. Um, this game, you know, a week ago... You would come into some areas and you'd look like right there and the FPS would just get really low and like on my computer that it should never really get that low and now I'm not having any issues with that at all so kind of an amazing thing to think about. And Unity, we, we haven't even actually updated to the latest version yet, um, but they just announced a GDC uh, pretty soon to update. Um, U Unity actually, uh, within the last year, they hired away from Bungie the, the lead graphics uh, engineer that worked on Destiny. and. So the new version of Unity this year has a huge amount of uh, graphical improvements. So I have noticed that when you're right on the edge sometimes of something, uh, you'll be there perfectly fine, but you can't jump. So may, so like if you're running forward and trying to jump, sometimes you'll like catch that edge and you think you jump and you don't and you just like run off into the toxic sludge. Yeah, I'm not quite sure if that's just like a collisions issue or what. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that some of the issues are things that might, might get improved as we update to newer versions of Unity that have you know, updated physics. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, I mean, obviously, we'll keep working on them if that's not the case. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. But, like I said, they, they put in place... I was watching the Unity live stream from GDC a few days ago, and they have hired people from some of the top studios like Bungie, Naughty Dog, Insomniac in their graphics team now, and I mean, we're, we're actually still on Unity 5.7, I think, which is actually two years old. So we, we actually, you know, we're just kind of checking, make, making sure before we do it, like the big update, mm -hmm. to be sure that everything's good. Yep. Yep. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes you can update and it just breaks everything. Yeah. yeah. So like I was so saying, like I sometimes, was, sometimes you... Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm having a real I'm issue really... this game where I hit my spacebar and it's just not jumping um, about half of the time. So maybe it's just like in general. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, strange. I have noticed that it happen occasionally too, but it seems somewhat dumb and the random bugs are always the hardest to fix. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Alright. So, a tip for anyone who wants to play this game. Press space before you press forward. That way, if you have any issues, you just land back where you're trying to jump, or you don't go anywhere if your jump doesn't work. I have also noticed there's a little bit of, um, I find this in games like Minecraft and some platformers where sometimes if you're moving forward and you jump, 
it does the forward movement before it does the registration of whether you actually perform the jump. Um, so jumping first and then going, uh, I think is probably the, the more advisable method in this game. Okay, we already got the key. All right, so we need a key in there. Let's see what we can do for here. Oh, wow. Pro probably want to fix that. <laughs> hey, I can see where I'm going. I guess it really doesn't matter, but it's kind of funny. All right, so this one bit me earlier with the jumping thing, so let's, okay. Okay, we made it. Bum, 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 bum. Jump. <laughs> oh, yes. So truth be told, this is probably the first area of the game. Hey, Michael, uh, you want to make sure you turn off your voice chat? It is echoing a lot. Um, so the, this is the first section of the game that I really uh, enjoy. And you'll, you'll probably find out why here in a moment, assuming I don't die stupidly. Oh man, I almost died there. <laughs> I tried to hit jump and it was like, nope. Yay, leather armor. Rough country uh, survival gear can wade through toxic water and touching normal enemies does not cause damage. So we're gonna equip that down here. And now, hey buddy, thanks for the clothes. Now we can do this. Whoa. So it, the game goes from extremely punishing to not very punishing in the same, well, at least not in the same way. There's other ways that it punishes you, obviously, but. It makes it backtracking through the area very nice because there's a, there's a fair bit of backtracking in this game, I think. <laughs> so I got the key. Uh, I'm trying to remember if there's a reason to go in here. No, I guess we'll find out. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. What do we got? N Double jump. Oh yeah! This whole section's full of goodies. So our character's name is Nair, apparently. I thought it, I thought we were playing Sybil. Apparently not. Oh yes, first boss time. And a conveniently placed waypoint. I'm gonna take a drink here. It's the cutest thing too. Your gal's just sitting there doing stretching and I don't know yoga-like poses. <laughs> All right, here we go. Got to actually jump out of the circle. All right, so let's see how this goes here. Okay, with the current jumping bug, this is actually kind of difficult.
Jump! Jump, damn it! Oh my god. So I should be opening here. close Ooh. did you uh tweak the boss mechanics because that was way easier than i remember it being <laughs> Like even knowing the trick, that was pretty pretty straightforward. Yeah, I don't know why. I wonder if my keyboard's having an issue. Let me check something here. Let me check something here. Yeah, it's not my keyboard. Okay, good. <laughs> so it's just, just the game sometimes just doesn't register jumps. I don't know why. But I'm sure that'll be something you guys are looking at fixing here soon. So we teleported all the way back. And um, have this shiny green crystal. So we'll see, we'll see in a minute what that does. Hopefully it does what it's supposed to do. That was one of the, that was one of the bugs they fixed. Is uh, It didn't work last time. Oh, and I forgot to talk to this gal at the beginning again. I'm so bad. So, go talk to this guy here quick, and then I do know that there is a, um, there, uh, we got a virtue stone. Um, and then he talks about, yeah, mind wandering, I, I don't know what any of that means yet, we'll find out. But, uh, I do know there's a place that we couldn't get to before, because there wasn't a way to get across the, uh, green sludge that we now have a way to get across with our double jump or immunity, depending on... I can't remember exactly which one this needs. So we're going to go back there and see if uh, that helps us find something uh, helpful. Might want to work on the uh, transitions of the music. <laughs> it's kind of a hard cutoff into the new one. I do like that it remembers where the blocks are now. Last time around, every time you came into these areas, uh, you had to actually do the whole moving the block. Uh, which wasn't so bad in the first two, but when you get to the one where you have the two pillars that you have to move, uh, it got kind of annoying. So, just little quality of life things have been, you know, getting put in rapidly, which is very nice to see. All right, there it is, right there. Oh, that's right, this is... Um, I don't, I mean, it's not echoing, so that's good. Your voice chat is not echoing. Are you trying to say something? Yeah, if you're trying to say something, I can't actually hear you, so. Um, yeah. So, this is the desert area, which I just started to get to last time I played. Um, we're actually going to go different. We're, go we're going to go check out what that green crystal is supposed to unlock, and we'll come back here later, I think. Whoa. Huh, oh, there's a dip in there. Oh, 
I wonder, are those frogs considered common enemies? When we got this armor, the uh, armor said you can't be hurt touching them. So let's let's see. Oh, nope, it certainly does. <laughs> For science, fail. <laughs> There's a health orb. Is there another health orb? It may be that just like landing on them doesn't hurt you, but um, they can still whack you. Maybe that's what it means. Okay, can you heal me now? I can hear you now. Okay, we would. I guess this could just decided to fail. <laughs> it does that sometimes if you do anything weird with your voice chat. Oh, that's right. There's stuff over here we can get to now because we can cut through the boxes. Hmm. Damn it. Yeah, I don't want to fall down there a second time. Oh, max mana increase. Cool. And increased max health. Boom. Oh, hello. So I feel like this game really encourages exploring, and I'll show you kind of what I mean here in a minute, but uh, the next section we're gonna go to, uh, when you start the game, you can walk around, you can talk to the people, and you probably should talk to the people. I, I, I uh, made a beeline straight over here and uh, forgot to talk to them again, so I missed the first part of the quest, or the dialogue, I guess, more than anything. But, if you see right over there, like straight ahead of me, there is a um, another area, and that area will be closed off with the uh, with giant crystals that are that same green color of the crystal we got. Um, and the bug was before that, uh, you know, even if you got the green crystal, it didn't open the area up. So uh, I haven't actually seen this content yet. So we're finally getting into stuff that's uh, new for me, and we'll see how far this goes. We're about half hour in. Um, and I'm thinking about, I don't know, we're, we're going to stop this basically at some sort of even-ish half hour mark. So probably either an hour or an hour and a half to make for a relatively easy YouTube viewing experience. And we'll pick it up in a second episode later. So we'll see how far we can get. Okay, so this is also the desert area. Interesting. Okay. Waypoint. Oh, okay. So, uh, we are immune to, uh, <laughs> we're immune to this toxic sludge, but now we have to deal with spikes. Um, oh dear. Okay. That like glitched out, didn't want to do a double jump. That sucked. Mm. Oh wow, you can actually collide with the body parts now. That's that's kind of awesome. Okay, so there's a button here. Oh. I don't know what the purpose of this button is, but apparently, or not button, it's a woohoo! <laughs> 
Maybe it's just to make you realize that there are these things, so you're like, oh, I'm gonna do this. Oh! Maybe I need to... Aha! Okay, let's see what we got going wrong over here. We got stuff over there. Okay. Let's explore a little bit, because we got, we got a way over here we can go, but I don't know what we're doing yet. Yeah, it, you probably will have to add, like, a hint at this point, because by this point, it becomes useful to use the map, which is M, M key. Oh, that's right, that's right, there's a map. Yeah. Okay, so we're over here. There's a giant door that I... Oh, it does open. Never mind. Whoa. Okay. Well, you know, we're just gonna we're just gonna say screw that, and we're gonna come over here. If it'll let me jump. Wow. I wonder if we need a piece of gear before we can really do this section properly. Hmm. Some speed boots or something. Let's come back to that because that looks pretty, pretty dicey. I think with the correct timing, you can actually jump over the arrows, but one of the arrows that you get in this zone does let you have a little more speed also. Right. <clears throat> to be fair, uh, I kind of want to see what it's like playing the game, you know, without that kind of hint, unless they're built in. Because if someone buys the game, right, and you're not in the... In voice chat, they're going to be thinking the same thing. Um, but also, I mean, this kind of gives us an idea of where we need to put him in. <laughs> yep, that is yeah, very that true. Is very true. Uh, that didn't work. Uh, yeah, nope. Okay, we're going to do this. Oh, God damn it! Die. Ooh. Okay. I think you still need to fix it so that if you're um, if you're in the over-the-shoulder view, your arrow keys move you in strafing directions instead of rotating you. Because if I'm doing this and I try and attack and it's always backwards, it's... Okay. Go! There we go. Okay. Let's try this area first, now that we're on low health. Looks relatively barren. Can I get some health, please? There's some health. Oh, oh, there's more of them. Boom. Oh God. Hey Zay, how's it going, man? It's been a long time. We're playing uh, Sybil. Um, Michael, who's in voice chat with me, is the uh, producer for this. It's an indie game they've been working on for a couple of months. He and I actually did uh, programming competitions, you know, like a decade ago. And um, he's like, hey, I got this game we're bringing out. Do you want, do you want to stream it? I'm like, yeah. So here we go. <laughs> Hi. Uh, okay, so we got we have an area over here, which is basically can you time your jump right or die? Let's go the not that direction and see what's over here Okay I don't need the life right now, so I'm just going to ignore these guys. So there's a big door there. Let's see if we can get in that big door. I'm guessing not, because I think it goes in that area that we had to kind of... Oh. No, we can get in here. Oh. Ha 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 Is there anything worthwhile over there? I don't see anything. Oh, there's a switch. Oh, boy. These are my least favorite levels in uh, Mario. The... 
Okay, this is actually not too bad. I thought it'd be really bad in this. Ow. Oh, son of a bitch. No. Ow. Okay, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Ooh. Um. Oh, this one's pretty short. Oh, God. Do I have to jump up on the island? No! What? What? I'm not, I'm not on anything. What, what's going on here? It's like freaking out. Damn it. <laughs> Needs a sprint key for that stuff. Yeah, we were talking we were about a sprint talking key, about key, last, sprint week. key last, week. last week. Yeah, sprint key is definitely still a situation, I think. Um, by the way, did you notice that uh, the zoom control has been switched over to control instead of shift? I did I just did notice just that. Notice that. <laughs> That's helpful. Yeah, when the, the first time I played, the, the control was originally um, shift changed your camera angle. So I kept trying to, like, run and jump. And uh, I was shifting my camera angle, which was a little bit jarring and made it very difficult. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just unofficially name this area the uh, Twinkie Desert because all these sand mounds have the exact color of a Twinkie. <laughs> all right, so we went right. Okay, uh, let's start going this way this time. We went right last time and we went into the crunching jaws of uh, glitchiness. Yeah, a sprint queue when you have this much open area would be good, plus momentum and jumping. I, I kind of agree, being able to traverse the open area. Oh god. Ah! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, wait. Now what? Uh, I'm guessing I actually need another item to get across this without dying. Unless I just want to waste an HP. You know what? For science! Oh! No! Oh! Ow! Well, we made it! Viper Blade! A sword made from snakeskin and cactus. Special attack shoots spikes. Ooh. And I'm now out of mana. And I'm also... Oh, okay, so you can't break boxes with this one, but it gives you a ranged attack. Oh, this is what we needed for that other area. I'm not supposed to jump up there. I just gotta shoot it. Oh, God. Now what? Eeks. Nope. I'm gonna die. The special attack does. So basically, you right-click to block with your shield, and then your special attack is clicking while you're right-clicking. So with the iron sword, you do a spin attack, and you do like an AoE thing. And with this, you shoot out a spike. I can just regular swing, and it doesn't take mana. I I'm going to die here, like 100%. Yep. yep. <laughs> but we have the sword. <laughs> Your sword takes mana, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. Jump! Jump! Ooh, wow, this one does way more damage. One shot and shit. Ooh. So we'll just have to remember to switch back to the iron sword when we're, uh... Ooh. Then we are uh, needing to uh, break boxes and shit. All right. Woo! 
Oh, there's stuff over there. Cool. Uh, I should map. Okay, so we're here. We're going, uh, I think, that way. I think. Oh, wow. I missed that jump. Oh, I missed it again. Oh, God. That hurt. Now I gotta find some things to kill. Console game PC, because I know most console games are devved on PC before they go to console. I, well, you can use a controller with this. I mean, so I am playing on the PC, obviously. Um, I don't think you're on console yet, but you want to do it there. Is that correct? Um, you're talking. I can't hear you again. Okay, the special attack from this is way more interesting than uh, the other weapon. And nothing is dropping health. What buggers? Um, but yeah, for now, from what I know, it is definitely it is the, a PC game only at the moment. But I'm not 100% sure of that. Um, um, now you can't hear me? <laughs> Yay for, uh, Discord. Okay, well, let's see. That's definitely lower than that, so maybe, maybe we can jump on there. We screwed it up last time. Oops. Oh, I, I got stabbed on those. Ow. Boom! Should be able to jump on the spikes and hit the lever. Yep. See, so when I tried that last time, which was right before you got on, I uh, I bugged on him, and uh, I I was like Zzzz, alongside of them or something. Okay. There you, you are. There there are. You are. Okay. Yep. Uh, I do not hear you again, by the way. Um, I had a. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, yeah, to answer the question, uh, the game is currently on Windows, we will have Mac version up soonish, and then plans are underway to, you know, talk to people about getting it on, uh, mobile and consoles, but no... For sure, things. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So, um, so the remember, uh, if anyone's watching, if you remember when I uh, was like, "Hey, we can go to this special area now that we have our suit," and then we went back and we went to the area that was unlocked with the green crystal. This actually is where the two of them uh, join up. Um, and I don't think I need to be there, so I'm gonna go back this way and see if we miss stuff, because we. Um, Activated a lever and then I don't remember anything in particular happening. This door opens now and it wasn't opening before, so yay. Uh, I'm hoping we can get to the next boss. If we can get to the next boss, it'll be a good uh, ending point. Yeah, there should be basically four ways you can go for. Okay. So this is in here, which we did our thing here. We don't need to be here anymore. Now. I would check the map. Let's see what we got over here. So this is where we were, but I'm gonna see if this wraps around differently than I'm 
Remember yeah, it looks like you could go south at more. South? Yeah, I'm oh, actually sorry, doing I'm actually the opposite. Club, club the area. Yeah, let's see where it's over here, and then we'll go back that way. Mini map? Uh, oh, in the corner? Um, that could maybe be helpful. I don't know if it would break the game. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think about a mini map like in the corner of the screen? You uh, muted again? Where are we at? All right, so we're going this way. Aha! It's weird. I, I've never had as many issues with Discord as, I, as you're having right now. It's crazy. Ah, there's a box. Um, am I able to get up here? I don't think so. I don't think. Yeah. Uh, what I've heard is there is like a ability that th this area is actually ripped for backtracking in the next zone. Ah, <laughs> uh, that makes sense. Makes I mean, sense. we couldn't get to, the, get to the one area until we backtracked. Yeah. So probably we, there will be like an NPC to see who to talk to you eventually or something like that. Or, a, or another signpost. <laughs> um, so Zay says, I'm going to assume that the f near final build will be more populated than this current build. So having to go to a full screen map is gonna be rough unless you can make it opaque so you can see what's going on. You mean transparent? Opaque would be like, opaque would be like it is. Transparent? Or maybe I misread that. No, you said opaque. Okay, well, we have that other uh, spike area. Oh no, we did that. We did that. So I think, so we can keep moving <laughs> in the map, even though it's not. Ooh. Okay. And keep going this way. I'm gonna go right and then left and then we'll... Hello, dude. Oh, lots of skeletons. Yeah, many maps have maps that are transparent and you can see where you are and not get killed by a random enemy. Yeah, I think that would be helpful here. I mean, here you definitely have a thing where you're like, okay, I'm just gonna... Well, maybe this is a bad example, but I'm just gonna jump up on a building or something and then I can look at the map. Would probably be a way to do it, but... So I think I'm supposed to go left here. No, I can jump on the little pillar. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna go this way. We're gonna go left. So we're gonna go back where we were, but we're gonna take this other way that apparently I think I missed. All right, let's continue then. How are we at time-wise? We're good. We're doing well. We got a few minutes here. We have just long enough to get to the next boss and probably die a whole bunch of times. Especially with the weird jumping thing. Going on right now. No, no. Let me, let me jump. There we go. Alright, so we're back here, which we were in before. And we're just going to end up going straight. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Give me your life. There we go. <laughs> oh, hi. All right, so... Up here is where we need to go. Oh, that's right. We didn't go this way. Did we? Go in here and then go right. Okay. Oh, 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 jump! Yeah, you damn it. Oh, that's a lot of shit. Oh, okay. I don't have to go all the way back. I can just jump up here. That's that's helpful. Am I talking to nothingness again? Uh, that would be yes. I, I heard you laugh at my "give me your life" thing, and then silence. So. In fact, I think I still hear my own echo more often than I hear you. <laughs> yeah. Increases max mana. Okay, okay, and then there- ooh, there's a- oh wow, this is gonna be crazy. Aha! Got it! Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, if, if the voice is just going to keep glitching out, feel free to just talk in chat and I'll uh, I'll just repeat it uh, for the question answering part. Oh, ow. Ow. Yeah, I don't know which. I know Discord does not handle well if you have a mic that's glitching out, so whichever it is, Discord's almost certainly involved. Oh, I misjudged that. Skeletons, where are some skeletons? There aren't any. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, man. I want to say we'll look into the jump stuff. That makes sense. Oh, really? <sighs> okay. Yeah. I mean, I see the point of what's going on there. Like, you're supposed to hit the second button to jump. But uh, <laughs> it's very frustrating to be like, oh, I'm holding on. I'm fine. And then dead. Death by red platform. Cool, cool. CC sprint, yes. <laughs> yes. It might need to be something where you can't jump while you're sprinting if it breaks the uh, the parkour too much. I, I can see that maybe. But something for when you like miss a jump and gotta run all the way, like right here. Ugh. If I was low on health, I would've just died there again. Um. But then you could then you could have that you know that speed to get where you want to go without feeling like it's taking forever, without it being something where you you know 
can just easily do a lot of the jumps because you have speed. If you don't want to redesign things for a sprint in mind. This jump, the way it acts to the side of the platform, ooh, oh, is once you in motion in the slide, you're done, you can't recover. Yeah, that is, that is very true. Because even if you're, so if you're on the side and you're holding down space, it doesn't, you don't, you don't really slip. But as soon as you let go, you slide down. So it's kind of like you're not falling, but you don't actually have the grip to jump. And when you fall, when you finally hit a spike, you're supposed to be able to jump. But that other, that place where I died, uh, that didn't, oh, god damn it. That didn't end up working because I um, was glitched, I think, on the platform and the spikes. So it still thought I was um, in a non-jumping position. All right, so where am I going now? I went too far. Yeah, I'm going this way. I need to get more life again. This game with some speed and some abilities looks like it could be super fun. The, the great thing is, um, I feel like this is the right way to do an indie game. Well, huh, that's glitchy. In the sense that, um, you know, they're, they're pu he's putting this out there and he, you know, he's like, hey, you want to come stream this? And then he comes and he's part of it. And like I said, so when I, I, I played this last week and I streamed it and we had a whole bunch of bugs that we ran into. And literally like the next day they had a patch out that fixed most of them. And I think there's been two more patches since then to fix uh, a variety of other issues. And I am very confident that the issues we're running into tonight... Oh, we made it that time. The issues we're running into tonight will probably be fixed very soon. I don't know about the sprint one. The sprint one might be more of a game design thing that they gotta they gotta figure out. But oh, I missed my jump. It decided it didn't want to jump. Okay. As long as I don't take shortcuts, it's not too bad. Okay. Okay, there we go. Made it past. Please tell me there's a waypoint somewhere nearby. The armor you're looking for gives you extra speed. Ah, but you're no longer invulnerable to toxic. What? What is this? Oh, oh, come, come now, come now. Oh, I can't. No, oh, I can't go fast enough. <laughs> this is actually really difficult. No, no, no. Tool. Without sprint. <laughs> Without sprint, it's like, whoo. Because there's not a whole lot of goo in the desert. Yeah. No, no, I, I, got, I got through it. I got through it. It's fine. Ooh. Yeah, okay, yeah. So look, I'm running into this, and it won't let me jump. So I think, I think it's actually just when it collides with the side of something, it's disabling jump. And I think it, what it needs to do is more check whether or not you actually have anything under you to determine if you can jump and that might fix some of the problems okay ow and none of them dropped health oh wait no there's health uh that might be not worth it <laughs> I think the issue is some slopes need to be marked jumpable. That that could do it too. All right, so we are over the one hour mark, so we're gonna keep going a little bit here. I think I want to get to the next boss. I think, and that's where we'll wrap it up, and we'll uh, pick up from there next time. <gasps> Waypoint! Please don't be something that's gonna kill me before I get there. No? Okay, good. Or even be able to just walk up them in that doorways case. Yeah. Yeah, maybe just use the uh, slightly less sloped, or less severe slope to allow that. Um, I want to go towards that, whatever that is. That's this, okay. 
Oh. Ho ho ho! Hello! Oi. Ooh. I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> really? Okay, 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 okay. Oh. I can't actually move that. I thought... Isn't that movable? Unless... I don't think I can make this jump. No, I can't. Uh, early on, we were building code dash slopes that don't let you climb them, but it's turned out that making totally weird, totally vertical walls is less glitchy, so you might end up just turning out that code. That may be glitch. Oh. Well, we may end up end ending the stream here. <laughs> That's... Ooh. Yeah, I can't move it. Hmm. Hmm. Try switching the iron sword. Oh god. Oh, Eve. Oh. That's odd. Oh, this, okay, this might be a section where you have to use the other camera mode to not get completely... ...screwed over. Oh! <laughs> this is like go go what did you go oh that was timing damn there it is oh that's right that's not a safe spot. Ooh. Nah. Oh, I've seen people do it with a third person cam. You have plenty of health at least. Yeah. No, no, I actually, honestly, I could have done it. I think I just got a little bit lazy at the end there. It was definitely, it was more of a timing thing. Like for me, like being, being in this cam, you have to basically guess when Shit's gonna go nuts, and then uh, jump. So like each of these ones is firing on a kind of specific interval that, oh god, I just kind of got a a feel for. Like I kind of knew there's one on my ass. Well, there's shit over here. Do I just have to go over here? I have one health now. No! The jump didn't work! <laughs> Shoot! Oh, okay, at least I'm not too far away. I'm, the way it feels like is it just feels a little bit like input lag. So like, sometimes it just doesn't register that I'm clicking soon enough, so I'll already have begun moving or doing something else. And it just like, it's like it just basically, um, either the, the, the polling interval for the, um, the polling interval for the, the space key just seems to sometimes miss if I just click like that. Like that, sometimes it just feels like it misses. If I like do a hard click, it doesn't seem so bad, so maybe I'll just have to start doing that. But looking at the glitch, the glitch of the iron versus viper sword. Sounds good. Uh, let's go this way first, and we'll go that way. 
And the slopes. And the jumps. Uh, you already said that, yeah. Alright, what do we got going on here? I went too soon. Those two things are the major things since Dash Sprint is already under consideration. Woo! There we go. Alright, let's just do the jump when it's coming. It's coming. So that's perfect timing. Oh, no, come back. Come back. I want to bounce. <laughs> we got it. We got it. No, no, don't stay on you. And there's a chest. Viper armor. As far as the map, we might do a Zelda style compass. Okay. Armor made from snakes, skin, and cactus. You run faster and enemies take damage when touching you. Okay, so let's 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 see how much faster this is. Oh wow. That's almost like you have a sprint as it is. Look at this. Wow, that is okay. That is very much more uh, quality of life feeling. The red springs need to be touched less sensitive to just being touched on the side. Seems if Ajax walks up to it. Yeah, exactly, it does. I think to have it go off is a hint that it's a jump pad. I mean, honestly, I, I don't mind that one, that, that thing quite so much, actually. Um, it's annoying if you miss the jump and you think you can, like, jump on the corner. Maybe just make it so that the... Ooh, oh, I need to pay attention. Maybe just make it so that the, um, the shape of them is purely a, um, purely cylindrical instead of the uh, button on the square. That might that might solve it. Oh, oh, <laughs> there's stuff. Oh my my gosh. That way you don't kind of have this idea that there's a corner you can kind of jump on to uh, cheese the parkour and take a breather halfway through. Now where are we? Okay, we are in Screw You Town. Oh, I I fell. I don't mind me, Spears. Don't mind me. No. It is <laughs> your. I mean, on the bright side. With the collisions and physics being just a little bit wonky, it actually really helps with the spear levels because you can kind of just run and jump and you're you're going to make it. <laughs> um, that is very true. That does keep me trapped in place. Ooh, ooh, look at this. Okay, so there's a door. Okay, so this is going to be the second boss. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we got to face here. What are you? Okay, this is uh, a little laggy. So that, that's not so good. Oh my god, that's so laggy. Oh my god, that is so laggy. How? Oh, yeah, this, this is almost unplayable. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, the rendering is going apeshit. That was loud. Holy shit. This is glitching. Okay, cool. Well, let's see if it keeps glitching. Uh, uh Nope. Oh. And I'm stuck in its body. And getting crushed to death. And I'm stuck, and I'm stuck, and I'm stuck! Whoa. Oh! Yeah. No. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I, I think we're gonna end it here, guys. Try switching the armors and swords. Okay. Oh God, that is way too loud. I have this at like twenty percent. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna. Oh, I'm on the I'm on the viper, or the iron sword. That could be it.
Mm, still laggy. Ooh! That's loud? Still? Yeah, it's still... Leave your armadillo form. Let me, let me hit you. It seems to be a link between sword and armor that spawns the correct boss room. Ow! Yeah. I'm dead. Um, let's try with the, um, other armor, since we do have some sludge. God, please fix that noise not being so... <laughs> if I had 100% sound right now, it'd be blowing up my freaking speakers. Also, the press down is way sensitive. All right, let's try it. Oh, I hit it. Oh, can't get me up here, can you? I don't feel like this is how you're supposed to beat this boss. <laughs> Stop rolling. Come on, try and hit me. Try and hit me. <laughs> I can't hit you if you don't try and hit me. Do I have to go over here? Come on. Come on over here. Oh, no. Sorry about this boss glitch, we'll investigate. Yeah. Seems like I just have to get lucky in hitting it on the nose when it's rolling. And it just reset! You fuck you, game! <laughs> okay. I got down to zero and it reset its health. Hello? Hello. Okay, good. It's working. Um, so what I think is happening what? is... I, I noticed in our last stream we did, there was a weird bug where the it's trying to spawn both boss rooms at the same time. Like, this is actually not supposed to be the same as the other boss room. Oh, it's supposed to be a different room? Yeah, but it's basically spawning both at once. And that's what's causing the rendering lesson. Mmm. Dark Souls 4. I think that it's tied to uh, wits armor and sword you use, so we'll we'll just have to look into how it's linking between the things. Mhm. Mm All right then. So I'm gonna end the the video part of the stream here. We're gonna end with Sybil. That's a that's the first look our our first our first uh, start of the playthrough. Uh, probably we'll be back possibly next week. Same time, if um, if the if the bugs have been fixed that allow us uh, to progress, it kind of just depends on whether they um, diagnose them and fix them soon enough. But we're gonna end it for now. I'll get this video up on YouTube. Like I said, I will have a link in the description to check out the game if you want, uh, Michael. If you want to share a link in the stream for anybody who's interested, feel free. Um, and um, I will catch you guys next time. <laughs>